Hello everybody, my name is Crispy and welcome back to another video, right? So this isn't like a horror video or anything like I usually do, right? I usually do FNAF content in case you're, you didn't know that if you're new around here. Uh, hi, I'm Crispy. Um, but I wanted to make this video, right? Because I recently got into Untitled Boxing Game. Um, but you know what, I'm not gonna waste your time because you, you saw what the thumbnail was about, right? So you want to beat Father Brinkus, right? You don't want this to happen to you. Listen, listen, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen to you, but watch, y'all gotta peep game and lock in, but first off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, please show your boy some love. Let's get straight into it, right? Okay, so, what you wanna do is, you wanna understand Father Brinkus. He only attacks whenever you get close or whenever he gets close. Use that to your advantage. He also dodges every attack that isn't perfect dodged. You have to understand where I'm going with this right here. So. We know two things. He attacks every single time you're close, and he dodges any hit you put out, if not most hits you put out. You cannot counter him, and you cannot jab him. He'll dodge it. So how are you supposed to hit him? Perfect question. Let me get straight to it. What you want to do is, you want to approach with your shield on, then you want to let him hit you. If he throws out an M2, then you want to take the M2, just, just let it hit your shield, and then dodge back and let your shield replenish. Then, if he hits an M1, what you want to do is you want to read his M1 for a perfect dodge. As in, dodge left or right, and then hit him with an M2. And guess what? You want to know what's better past that? Nothing. Because there's no other part of this fight. If you want to cheese him, you have to do this. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you want to beat him, you have to do this. Keep doing this the entire way through. There is no difference any, in any of what you're about to do. You're just going to have to keep doing it. I don't make the rules. So next up, when you get to phase two, what you want to do is the exact same thing. I know that's shocking to you. I know that this must be shocking. You have to do the exact same thing for another five minutes because he just takes so long to chip away at his health i'm so serious this took me forever i don't even know how long realistically it took me but i think in my recording apparently it took me 12 minutes to beat him um it didn't have to take this long but it did and this is the cheese method admittedly so you know but you just want to do the same thing you did for phase one and you just want to approach a shield dodge back if it's m2 um let, let your shield heal and then go in and try to perfect dodge for m1s and then just hit him with an m2 when you perfect dodge it and just keep doing that now for phase three it's going to get a little different right because by the time here you've either garnered enough damage to get an ultimate or he's garnered enough damage to get his ultimate in either sense what you want to do is if you don't care about 3-0 you just want to beat him what you want to do is you want to go for a jab on a 2-0 lead, right? Let's say it's a 2-0 lead. Go for your jab. You're probably like half HP, you know, human error. You want to go for a jab. He's going to, if he perfect dodges it, he's going to ultimate. He's probably going to knock you down, and that's fine. That's actually what you want. So he'll knock you down, and his health will be 50, right? His, I think his health bar will be roughly 50% because that's how Iron Fist works. What you want to do is... Do the method, right? Shield, go for the M1s. If he M1s you, dodge it, and then hit him with an M2. And that'll take off all of his anti-heal. If, if your ultimate is ready, you can go a step further. And you can perfect dodge him and then use your ultimate. And not only will it take out the anti-heal, but then you can just do damage and finish him off right there. And you'll win on a 2-1. If you want to do a 3-0... You just have to keep doing the exact same method for the entire time. It just don't get perfect dodged and you won't, you know. But it's not really, there's no point in getting 3-0. Like there's, other than bragging rights and honestly nobody cares. So I just advise you just go for something simple here. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, please. If you have any concerns, you know, complaints, anything like that, Please bring it to me in the comment section. Like, you know, go follow me on Twitter. Please, bro. Please, bro. I'm trying to make it. 
And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.